In this video, I'm trying to show you how to install ChemFX on Prototype 1. Um, let me see. First of all, the white screen fix. I'm gonna provide this um, link here in the description where you can find that. And uh, when you scroll down, well, first of all, this thing shows you how it will affect Mine is 16 and 9, this one. And this is the link where you can download that. Let's see. Yeah, I download. I don't... Can't go. Yes. <laughs> I have already that in my desktop. Right here. And how do you enable that? It's just open your prototype um, folder, which is in my case here. There you go. In Steam, Steam apps common prototype, and you need to open this. I'm using WinRAR, which is usually the probably most used. And this is um, all the resolutions. Um, I'm using uh, this one, I think, because this original higher and even higher. <laughs> It's uh, for the field of view, so this is original field of view, and this is a little bit higher. You just go here, drag, and drop it right in the um, prototype folder. And move and replace if you need to. You probably don't need to, though. And next time when you're launching your game, it should just work with your native resolution, which, whatever you have. And uh, let's see, next one we have Axial ChemFX. Also, I've provided this link right here in the description. It shows you behind there, download image. Because I have uh, ad blocks, as you can see, it won't let me go there. Let me see now. Holes on this side. Can I go here? Oh, come on now. Yeah, there we go. Now I can just click and download that if I want to. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I do not want to now. Again, I already have that on my desktop right here. And this is probably the trickiest part. Probably, maybe, I don't know. Just open it. It shows you... Uh, it, it kind of already tells you it needs to be in the game folder, which is pretty normal. Not always. Um, always when you need to install ChemFX, it should be in the same folder where the game exe file is. Like, for example, it, in this case, it's right on the main folder of the prototype. So let's go in there. Here we go, my Steam. Steam apps. Common. And where do I have my game. Oh yeah, prototype. I can't see the exe file here, of course, but I can see it on this um, screen right here. I mean Windows. And then just click the prototype folder. Okay. And extract. And a bunch of weird things come right on there. Right. Now we have ChemFX installed. If you run the game right now, it doesn't probably look any different because we haven't done any modifieds. And this is how you click your ChemFX open. ChemFX configuration. <laughs> I'm really bad at pronouncing these sometimes. Oh, there is a bunch of stuff uh, already en enabled. So, first of things first. There is sweet effects, which is probably very common these days. It seems there is nothing on. But if you want to use, let's say, tone map, you just click that on, go to tone map, and just use the sliders, whichever you like. Want more color? Use the saturation, more gamma, exposure, and you get the idea. Oh, yeah. When you want to, um, how you say that? 
put them on use, just press the save configuration. And now, next time you launch that software, software, I mean game, prototype for example, it should look different. And if you have hard time to see any difference, um, usually it's um, default F9, enable and disable this whole thing. So you can compare your results, are they better or worse? Hopefully better. Also the split screen is one way to do that. Which is also very common. I'm not gonna do this now. And I'm gonna save every time I've made any changes. So this was just sweet effects. Gem effects is um, on his own. <laughs> If you don't want to use that, just put no gem effects. I usually use very little of any configur configurations here. So I usually use just HBO because that makes game a little bit more sharper. You can change that right there. It takes some time to understand what all this does. Even it says sharp range amount, blur amount, shift. But it's sometimes hard to know what that actually means in the picture in the game. But the good thing is, when you launch the game, and game is running, you can, was it the shift and tab? You can come to the, this desktop screen and you can open this while the game is on. At the same time, adjust, adjust these sliders and uh, straight away see how it looks different. Which is very useful, I think. Okay, so yeah, this is pretty much how it looks when you open this first time, as you saw when I opened it. And uh, it seems in different games you need to use different setups to be able this to work. So if I remember correctly, I used compatibility mode to be able to get this thing actually work with the prototype. With some games, you don't need this, but like this game, I think you need to put this on to be able to get it working. And this is very clearly just for the 64-bit uh, games or applications, as this uh, tells you. But uh, Prototype isn't 64-bit application, so you don't need to put that. I'm not sure what this does, but it tells you on that um, black screen right over there. Bypasses the UE of games when enabled, currently only working with the uh, uh, ROM Total War 2 in game. Okay. So, when you do whatever you do in here, just click save the configuration and you're kinda good to go and it should just work. But if you want to use my configurations, just go GemFX folder, resets, current. This is um, what you have you have settings right now, like what I just modified back there. And uh, I'm gonna provide this link as well. This is oh come on now. There we go. It just gives you, when you download this, my settings, which are over here. And when you're in the current folder, wherever you download this one, just uh, copy it or track and drop right here. Copy and replace. And now there is my configurations. And when I open this again, there they are. And I use a little bit sweet effects as well. Puma sharpen. Let's see. There we go. These are my options. And tone map. Curves. And nothing else in here. And gem effects only HBO. As you can see, no gem shader. HBO settings.
a little bit more sharper. No blur, no no shift. Because I think toes look a little weird. And yeah, a little bit more anti-aliasing. Two times FXAA. Pretty simple. And if my settings doesn't um, look good in your eye, we feel free to experiment. That's why this program exists, I think. There is tons of options to choose from. I have not used almost any of these others, only this and uh, this, pretty much. And sweet effects, of course. Well, that's pretty much that. And next time you launch your game, you should have um, higher resolution, your native resolution, hopefully, and a uh, little bit more depth in the picture, how you should say that. I don't know. I'm probably gonna show you some in-game footage as well. I kinda already did the video about that, but I guess it's a little bit hard to follow and hard to understand how to do all this. Even it's pretty simple, as I just showed you. Hopefully that was simple. <laughs> I don't know. To me it is. <clears throat> and in fact, um, I'm gonna confuse a little bit more. <laughs> I don't myself use any more gem effects. I'm using a reshade. Um, but I'm gonna do on that on totally different video how to use that. It kinda does the same things, but it's a little bit more probably maybe easier to use. Because you can do those modifi modifications like this, but in a game. So you can see the game all the time. And when you let's say, change your tone map, you can see it straight away what happens in the background. So, it's very useful. I'm probably gonna do that video also. Not sure the day, but I don't know. If you're interested, let me know. And hopefully this helps a little bit. I can right now uh, launch my game. Here it is. Because if I'll do um, this software I'm using to record, doesn't really record that game. But uh, I'm going to do a little cut here and uh, let's see how the game looks like. Hopefully better and not the worse. And there we go, we're in the game. And now, when I'm pressing the F9, oh, yeah, it changed, but uh, you probably can't see much of a difference. Or can you? I don't know. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, now it's much more sharper. It should be... 1080p resolutions because that's my um, native mod monitor resolution you probably want to go here when you next time open this you can't change this because it's your monitor resolutions resolution and uh, this have been put to def default so feel free to do whatever you want here Okay. Yes. Here we go. Oh yeah, <laughs> this is actually a great demonstration. 
it didn't work uh, changing this because I think I put this, which is impossible. Uh, Gemfax uses its own anti-aliasing, so you can't use the game's own right now. Some games can, this it's very clearly can't. Let's do it again. Yes. I'm gonna check it, yeah. So don't use this and analyzing because it's already on in gem effects. Continue Okay. Wheels of Chains. Oh, it's already continued. I didn't even notice that. So, is there any difference? F9? A little bit more... At least in my screen it looks... Not very good. And come on now, game. I'm trying to do video here. And when you press the, press, press the F9, you have a lot more colors and uh, it's more sharper. Which I do like a lot. So that's about that video. Hopefully you liked and hopefully you understand a little bit now better how that works. I'm just gamer. I don't know about these things a lot, but I do like to use them almost in every game. I use mostly reshade again, but time to time when reshade doesn't work, like for example one game I just installed, uh, Terra Online, uh, reshade doesn't work with that, at least in my case. All the computers are different and behave different ways and all the Windows versions are different and all the, um, how you say that, drivers and all work different with the different softwares like this. So there is a tons of stuff. For example, this might work with me, but with somebody else might not. So I'm just hoping it works with you, because of course I would like to share my um, how you say that information <laughs> I've learned about these things, which is none. But yeah, and I'm just rambling. So hopefully this helps, and uh, leave a like if you find this any helpful. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching if you did, and uh, have a good nice day or night.